Hey everyone, welcome back to Art in Context. Today, we're going to run you through the process of learning how to draw a skyscraper. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use a vanishing point to observe and understand dimension and perspective in drawing. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to stay up to date with our newest art tutorials. All right, let's dive right in. Before you begin the process, prepare all of your tools and materials. You will need the following. Paper of your choice. I recommend using a thicker weighted paper for this tutorial. A drawing board to press onto. Masking tape to fix your paper to your board and a ruler. Pencils, a sharpener, an eraser, drawing ink of your choice. It is also optional, you could continue just using your fine liners and pens. Fine liners or pens. I tend to use the Pigma Microns. Paint brushes and a water container. Lastly, masking fluid is also optional. It's just really great for blocking out highlights. Step one, prepare your workspace, tools and materials and fix your paper to the drawing board. This will prevent the paper from moving or misshaping as you work onto it. Step two, Begin by drawing the line of the horizon using a pencil and ruler. Even if the horizon does not show in your reference image, include it to help assist you with setting up the correct angles. Step three, mark out your horizon line on the far right with an X. You can use your ruler to help plan where to place the vanishing point. The vanishing point is basically the point at which receding parallel lines diminish or vanish out of sight. Step four, Okay, now find the center of your page and draw a point. Step five, divide the page into four sections by drawing a vertical line through the middle point. This line is basically the side of the building, but you'll see that come through in later stages. Step six, using a ruler and pencil, draw a diagonal line that runs from X towards the bottom of the vertical line, about three inches from the bottom of the page. Step seven, now basically repeat step six. But this time, draw a diagonal line that runs from X to the vertical line, which is about 2 inches from the top of the page. Step 8. Draw a horizontal line at 90 degrees to the left of your vertical line. Step 9. Draw a vertical line that runs upwards and parallel to your middle vertical line. Step 10. Draw another short horizontal line that runs through the middle vertical line, as done in step 8. Step 11. Draw the last vertical line to connect the diagonal parallel lines that run towards X. This will define the edges of your skyscraper really nicely and you will start to see a 3D box taking shape. Step 12. Now you can start defining your planning with a darker pencil and let your hand loosen up a little. Step 13. Begin sketching more details around the base of the skyscraper. You can include any elements that feature below the skyscraper, such as trees, other buildings, parks, houses, and even people in the streets if you wish. Step 14. Go ahead and remove any unnecessary pencil lines from your planning. Make sure to keep your vanishing point, but you can definitely remove invisible lines behind and below the skyscraper, as well as the middle vertical line that runs through the page. Step 15. Continue adding detail to the sketch with a darker pencil. Focus on really defining certain areas and include any extra building blocks that are situated on top of the skyscraper. Step 16. Using a ruler, you can start to plan and divide your skyscraper into sections according to the number of floors that are featured in the building. If you are unsure, simply make up an even number and split the floor into these sections. Step 17. Draw in the horizon lines that run through these mark points to define the floor levels. Make sure to sketch each diagonal line towards the vanishing point. This is really important if you want to create realistic dimensions and proportions. Step 18. Go ahead and sketch in more detail.
Continue adding windows, antennas, roads, and any other details you wish to add. Then you can erase your vanishing point. Step 19. Now things are going to get a bit more loose and sketchy, so pick up a pen or fine liner and begin defining your skyscraper sketch further. Work from left to right or however you wish. Draw over all elements and details that you have planned in pencil. Step 20. Next, begin adding details to your drawing by working into the shadow areas of your sketch first. Now that we're nearing the end of the sketch, it is important to be aware of the balance of composition. Step 21. Pick up your fine liners again and continue adding the last details to your skyscraper drawing. Add texture to the brickwork using hatching and pointillism techniques to create subtle shadows. Skyscrapers are also often made of a lot of glass, so make sure to leave space for more highlights than shadows. Step 22. Lastly, allow your artwork to dry fully, sign once it's complete, and admire your creation. Thanks again for joining us at Art in Context to learn how to draw a skyscraper. We really hope you enjoyed this one and please do let us know what you thought in the comments. If you would like to read this full article in more depth, hit the link below and head over to the Art in Context website. Don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with our newest articles and tutorials.